Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday's trip to the Woolworths bottle and can machine thingy was unsuccessful. So today we are going to be trying it again. Hopefully today works out better, it's not raining, no grey skies. So let's check it out. Before we go to the Canon bottle machine, we're going to go pick up some, um, es I think it's called essential oils, is that what it's called? Deterior or something. Some oils and um, you put them on these like, these bracelets and they help with like stress and anxiety and just all sorts of things. So we're going to go pick up those and then we'll go and do the cans and bottles and we'll see you there. Okay, so we got the oils. We got wild orange and tangerine. You can drink them, you can put a little drop in your water, or you can just rub them on your skin. They're really good for like anxiety and stomach problems and headaches and just pretty much everything. They're amazing. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> I already bagged it. <laughs> that was like the first time using one of those machines and um, small things amuse small minds. It was so exciting. <laughs> it was really exciting. You know? And I have heaps of bottles and cans and glass bottles and everything. Um, but we just did like two little plastic bags and I got a dollar forty. <laughs> I like the donate button though because that's what I originally wanted to do with them. Um, I wanted to donate the cans. I wanted to donate the money to like an animal shelter or something like that. I really wanted to do that. I'm gonna try and save what I make from the bottles and cans. Okay, so I'm not sure what we're doing now, but I will let you know if it's something exciting. station at the moment in orange um, and we're just gonna go check prices for um, a train fare to back to Myrtleford where we used to live because my little brother's girlfriend she's back in Myrtleford so we're gonna go check the prices on the tickets to get him back there to visit her so yeah let's go check travels not every day okay okay so what you would do is you would go from here at 10 past 9 on monday wednesday friday saturday go down to kudamundra change your kudamundra okay so we got the prices it's about 80 dollars one way so we're contemplating whether or not to just drive back to myrtleford and go for like a two-day visit or something if you're actually a student you get it for half the price but he is homeschooled, but he doesn't have a student ID or anything like that, so we have to apply for it. Yeah, it takes three weeks, so I don't know what's gonna happen. So, I don't know what, well, how do you get out? <laughs> how do you get out of this place? I don't know um, whether to send him down there. It's gonna cost me about $170 return. Maybe I just don't return him. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> if we went down there, we'd have to spend money on food and everything down there. And then we've got to sleep in a cold tent. She doesn't like camping, but I love that. Just getting a tent and like a blow up mattress. Not even that. I'll just sleep on the floor in the tent. I don't even care. I love it. See how you feel when it's a cold winter night. 
You bring extra blankets. What All on the ground for your toilet. Are we thinking about these things? It'd be fun to camp though. Yeah. Anyway, something to think about. Mm. Now on to the next thing. Now think about it. And I'll get back to you guys because you guys are coming with me if we go. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Oh yes. Hey, I just got my coffee frappe and I ordered a medium and he's like, whoopsie, you got a large. <laughs> We are back home now. We did what we needed to do. So now Nick and I are going to go for a walk. As soon as I can find some water. Um, we were talking about driving down to Myrtleford so that Stephen could visit his girlfriend. But we discovered this thing, which is a colour fun run down in Melbourne. And so that's in less than a month. So we were talking about just doing that instead. It goes for 5Ks. I'm pretty sure most of you know what a colour fun run is. Me and Nick are going to practice for that. We've got less than a month and we need to make the whole 5Ks. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so before I go for a run, I just wanted to show you guys this really stupid thing in the house in my room. This is the linen closet. When we first moved in, there were no shelves there. But um, we went to the hardware store and got some shelves, which I think they look pretty nice now. But anyway, see up here and down here, right? Now, follow me. All right, my closet in my bedroom. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and up there. So that is really stupid. And do you want to know what just tops the cake? This. That's just lovely. It rings right in my cupboard. Anyway, I just want to show you the guys that before we went for a run. Um, so now we're gonna get ready and run. Bye. from our run <laughs> I'm so unfit if I keep doing it every day hopefully I'll get better at it I basically just wanted to finish off the vlog but I wanted to show you guys something so as you know about the bandanas I've been wearing different bandanas every day um, but I actually made a few myself so I cut and sewed and everything and yesterday's bandana was the mustache one and I actually got some mustache material and I cut it and sewed it myself. Anyway, so I went to Spotlight with my auntie maybe a week ago or something like that. And we saw this really cute unicorn material and I love unicorns so I like really wanted it. So she has a dog and then she was like, oh, well if you make, she bought like a meter and a half or something. And she's like, if you make Ruby, her dog, um, a bandana you could have the rest so she bought unicorn material and I've cut her bandana for her dog I just need to sew it up and then she can have that and then I have all of that so that's enough for two bandanas for Mocha and me when that happens but um yeah I also made this one which I'll probably wear tomorrow Right, it's nothing exciting, but I thought the more the better. And that's pretty much it. Um, we're actually going to my auntie's tonight. I'll include a little clip of her dog at the end, and you can see that. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Um, again, I know the video is very short, but it'll get better. <laughs> um, so like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, whatever. But if you do, thanks, you're a pal. Anyway, guys, um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.